Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. First of all, I'd like to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Amashach, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to open up with the book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 17. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of Amashach, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to Yahweh and the Abba by him. So everything that we do, we give thanks to the Most High God through his son, Amashach, Yahweh Shai. Right, this lesson here is called Christ is for the sinners. Right? Because Christ only come for the sinners. He only come for the 12 trials of the children of Israel. He ain't come for no one else, right? So I'm going to get the book of Matthew. Chapter 11. Chapter 9. Verse 11 through 13. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, Why eateth your masters with publicans and sinners? But when Hamasha, but when Shehawashai heard that, he said unto them, They that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go you and learn what that meaneth. I have, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I'm not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. So the Pharisees was asking the disciples, why eat if your master, why eat if your teacher with publicans and sinners? Why eat with the worst people? Why not come and eat with us? We keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. We got big fringes on. Everybody surrounding us. We had the chief of the table. Why not come and eat with us? Right? So Christ heard what they said. And Christ said, they that whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I'm eating with the sick because these people need me. Y'all don't need me no more. Y'all got y'all stuff together. Y'all are walking straight and upright. I come to get those who are sick, those who are in the gutters, those who won't crack. Those who can't raise their children right. Those who ain't eight in days. Those who stay in abandoned houses. I said, I come with them. Right? So he says, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I come not to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. Say, so ain't come to call y'all. No. I come to call the ones that, 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 that y'all condemn. That y'all don't have mercy on. Y'all just condemn them for everything. But when y'all fall short, y'all give you sacrifice. Christ said, now nah, when you go and learn what that means, then you can come holler at me then. I only come for those who are sick, man. Let me get the book of St. Luke, chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. The book of St. Luke, chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. I'm reading, uh, it's like it, two and, two and three and four. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, saying, This man receiveth sinners and eat with them. Say, This man receiveth sinners and eat with them. Right? And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you have a hundred sheep? And if he lose one of them, do we not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until you find it? Christ, I'm coming to the wilderness. I'm coming in the gutters. I'm coming in the concrete jungle to find them lost sheep. Those who are lost and need me, those who are seeking my face but don't know where I'm at. Those who are in the darkness, I come to give them light. I'm the beacon of the world. Right? So it says, if you have a hundred, a hundred sheep, and if you lose one of those sheep, you got to go and get him. The 99 is okay. But those who are not okay is the ones who are in, in darkness and sinning. Christ, I come for you, man. If you will repent and follow me. Because he said, my sheep hear my voice. Right? So I'm going to go to the book of um, St. John. Chapter 10 and verse 11. The book of St. John, chapter 10. And verse 11, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd give his life for his sheep. Christ, I give my life for my sheep. That's why I'm going back and get that one lost sheep. Christ said, that's why I died on the cross. So y'all can have a way back to the Father. I died because of my people. Are you going to stand up for your people? Christ, I come for those who are sick. To get them a chance to repentance. 
Because under the law, you was put to death. Christ is mercy. But you got to have the faith of Mashiach, Yahusha. He said, I'm the good shepherd. Give his life for his sheep. He gave his life for us. He gave his life so we can have a, a, a way back to the Father. So that the son of man can repent from that and become a righteous man. I'm going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. The book of St. Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, I'm not sent for no one else. I didn't come to die for no one else. I only come to die for the so-called blacks, Native American, Hispanic, Negro descent. I only come for you because you would need right now. You need me. You are destroyed by crack and violence. You destroyed by all your enemies. You the salt that's been trampled on. I come to pull you out of there. I come to give you mercy and grace. Christ, I come to give you. I ain't come for, I ain't come, I ain't come for nobody else. I only come for the so-called blacks, Hispanic, Native American, Negro descent. Right? So I'm going to go to the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 1 and verse 15. The book of 1 Timothy. Right? Chapter 1. And verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exceptions that a Mashiach came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. See, he come to save sinners. To whom Paul said, I, I, I am chief. Because look at all the dirt I done done. I'm the head when they done wrong. And Christ still came for me. He still came for me. He only coming to this world for the sinner, but you got to accept that. I was messed up out there. I know I was broken. I know I needed Christ. But once I know I needed him, everything changed around me. My actions changed. My body language, the way I move, the way I talk, everything has to change. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all exceptions. That Amashach Yehawashah, which is, was his Christ Jesus, came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. Read the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2. And um, I'm going to start at... Um, 11 to 13. There's a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful, he could not deny himself. Right? So the scripture says, so, so Timothy is saying, it is a faithful saying, for if we be dead with him, you have to be dead with Christ. What it means to be dead with Christ, I'm going to show you, right? Go to the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 5 to 8. I'm going to show you, right? The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 5 to 8. And it reads, For we have been planted together in his likeness of his death. We shall, all, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that the our it's like it, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we shall not serve sin. So that's why you dying with Christ, right? To destroy that old man, that old man is crucified with Christ. When Christ got on that cross, that old man got to be crucified with him. That sin of man got to be crucified with him. Because if we're going to reign with him, we're going to reign with him. For he that is dead is free from sin. That's why. Right? Go back to the book of um, 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 11. 
is a faithful saying, if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not yet, he abided faithful and could not deny himself. Christ can't deny himself. If he say what he mean, he mean that. He's faithful. He's not going to give up on you. He's long-suffering. He's here for his people. We have to know that. Set the dope down. Set the guns down. Stop putting that crazy music out there. Corrupt, corrupt communication destroys manners. Come back to the fold, brother. Come back to the fold, sister. Christ is leading his hand out for you. Take his hand. I'm going to the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. The book of St. Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashah, for he shall save his people from their sins. Christ come to save his people. He didn't come from nobody else. He was promised. Right, I'm going to show you that. Go to the book of Acts chapter 13. In verse 23, of this man's seed, which talking about David, had Yahweh, according to his promise, raised unto us. See, raised unto Israel, it's like you raised unto Israel a savior, Hamashak Yahweh Shah. The book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 23. Of this man's seed, had Yahweh, according to his promise, raised unto us, raised, it's like you, raised, raised to Israel a savior, Hamashiach. Look what, our, look what our people are doing out here. They're living in wickedness. They love their oppressor. The same one had his foot on your neck. Christ, I come to take that away from you. I come to take that away from you. Reaching to all our brothers and sisters out there. The so-called Hispanic. So-called Native American. So-called blacks. Negro descent, man. I'm go to the book of uh, Matthew chapter 18. Verse 11 through 14. The book of Matthew chapter 18. Verse 11 to 14. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. How thank ye if a man have a hundred sheep and one of them be gone astray? Do we not leave the ninety and nine and go up unto the mountain and seek that which is uh, was this gone astray? If so be that he find it, Verily I say unto you, he rejoices more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went astray. So Christ said, I'm going to rejoice over that sheep, over that brother that turned this life around. I'm rejoicing because he came on home. She found her way home. She stopped smoking dope. She stopped selling her body. She heard the word of Christ. She changed her life. She's seeking the face. He's seeking the face of the Most High God. That's why he's standing there. They're calling out. The shepherd said, I give my life for my sheep. Christ gave his life for you. What you going to do in return? He's calling out, brothers and sisters. He's looking for that lost sheep out there. He's trying to find his way back. Brothers and sisters, repent. Come to Christ. All you that labor and have heavy laden, put your burdens on him. Put it on him. We have to come back. That's why things are happening to us. That's why sin has ruined our people's life. Come back. We're reaching out. Calling the sick. Calling those who need him. Those who can't pay their rent. They don't know what tomorrow is going to bring to them. They sick. Whether it's physical or spiritually. Christ, I come back for you, man. I'm going to get the book of Joel chapter 2 and verse 27.
ಯಾವ ಭಾಷೆ ಮ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡ್ಕತ್ತ 